Hi, Devin. Got me down by the end of the song. Seem like the whole city go against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, 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 yak. Man down, where you from? Yo, where you from, my nigga? Where your grandma stay, huh, my nigga? This mad city, I run my What's up, Ravens, and welcome to our special extended edition of Game Day Northwest. With all of our athletic success, we will highlight all of our accomplishments. Our volleyball team will be headed to Topeka to compete in the state tournament. Chloe Carrot has more. We're excited. Um, we. Uh, we're in the uh, first pool, we'll have Olathe East, so Crosstown rival Olathe East in our pool, as well as Wichita East and Wichita Northwest. Spending time with the team and just kind of asserting our dominance and showing everyone else in the state what we can do. We play at 4.30 Friday. Um, our first match is against Wichita East. Um, I tell all my fans that you guys are awesome and please come out this Friday and Saturday and just go crazy because you definitely helped us win on Saturday. While the volleyball players head to state, the gymnastics team came home with medals last weekend. The Olathe Northwest gymnastics team has had a phenomenal season. They finished it off by coming in second as a team in state. Gymnastics had a great season this year. They um, came in fighting really hard from beginning, learning new skills, working together, and then of course they came out second at state as a team. Um, if I could sum it up, I would call it a big success. I think our team came together and really worked our butts off. With two and a half hour practices every day, the girls truly found out that hard work does pay off. I felt really good because last year at state I placed fifth, so it was really good to um, improve and to win. Captain Jesse Payne had a fantastic show, placing first in uneven parallel bars, vault, and all around. I want the girls to know how incredibly proud Mindy and I are of all of them. They worked so hard and they deserved the meet that they had. They had the best meet they had all season. Um, and it was all up to vault, their last event. It was up to vault where they would place and they had a great rotation on vault. State was a lot of pressure. Like before you go, you have a lot of nerves because there are so many people watching you and every move that you made, like it determined what would the outcome would be. Although the girls had nerves, they pushed through to finish the season on a high note. Congratulations, ladies. We would also like to wish good luck to their cross-country team for their trip to Rimrock Farm on Saturday. Cindy Mortensen has more. Led by sophomore Cameron Geldner, ONW girls cross-country is head to state with a second-place finish at regionals. Coach Tim Barnes said his expectations were high after a fourth-place finish at state last year. Last year we had a fourth-place finish at state, which was a little disappointing for us. We thought we were going to do a little better. With a year of experience behind her, Geldner felt confident going into the season. Awesome. Times have improved a lot, and then I'm a lot more comfortable with the courses now because it's my second or third time running them. As an individual, Geldner took second place in the 4K race with a time of 1453.3 and noted that even though she was still considered an underclassman, she has to take on new responsibilities. Because since the seniors left, I've been kind of Step, like I've stepped up to like a higher leadership role. ONW men's cross country team is sending junior Aaron Taylor onto state as well. Um, Aaron Taylor has ran spectacular all season and the boys really showed up and ran regionals well. Um, I think we've got a nice young squad that looks good for next year. Taylor ran the 5K and finished sixth overall with a time of 16.06.07. With the upcoming race at hand, Taylor says, preparedness is simply about putting one foot in front of the other and moving forward. The state competition is this week at KU's Rimrock Farm in Lawrence, Kansas, and the team is ready. 
Good luck to our Raven Cross Country team. For ONW Now, I'm Cindy Morrison. Congratulations to the girls' golf team, particularly Audrey Judd, who has won state two times in a row. Sheldon Boyer has more on her championship. Audrey Judd became the first woman to win two state titles in a row and achieved this goal with a lot of preparation and dedication. Um, a lot of dedication, a lot of practice, um, and I just think passion mostly. Um, you know, I, I knew what I wanted to do going in, into it, and I wanted to win, and I wanted to be the first uh, girl in Kansas to win consecutive state titles. The state tournament was held in Garden City, which is located six hours southwest of Olathe. And although no real complications, the smell tended to distract the players. First of all, I have to say the smell. Uh, Garden City doesn't smell the best. Um, so I kind of had to fight that, just focusing on golf instead of the smell. And then, of course, it's windy because um, you're in the middle of Kansas. So. Audrey's state championship helps her walk onto the campus of Nebraska University with a sense of confidence and pride. And I'm ready to go to Nebraska and contribute to that team as I have here. Um, I hope to, you know, bring Nebraska up in the rankings and I hope to inspire, you know, other athletes there. Good luck to Audrey next season. I'm Sheldon Boyer from Game Day Northwest. Now back to the desk. Now for a special message from Dr. Poss, who would like to congratulate our teams and wish them good luck. On behalf of the students and staff at Olathe Northwest High School, I would like to congratulate our girls gymnastics team who achieved a second place on Saturday at Olathe North High School in the state championship. I also want to congratulate um, Audrey Judd and our girls golf team. Audrey uh, led our golfers as a two-time state championship winner in girls golf. And also, I would like to say good luck to our girls volleyball team who will be competing on Friday night in Topeka and to our cross country runners who will be competing on Saturday at Rimrock Farm. Good luck, ladies. Congratulations to all the teams who have performed great this past week. We wish them the best of luck this weekend. That's all we have for you in this edition of Game Day Northwest. For Quinn Barkium, I'm Elena Gray. Have a great day, Ravens. Every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, yak, yak. of their hard work. Your own little family. 